to another episode of uh, Multiplex Movie Melee. I'm here for another installment in our summer series tournament. We got a good one for you people. We got our, I guess we're saying the seeds now. We got our number two seed, Matt uh, Quaylar, going up against uh, our number 15 seed, Dylan Van Thine. I think uh, it's shaping up to be kind of a pretty good one. Uh, but uh, I got Payson with me. You know, I have my hand out to the other way just because, you know, it's opposite things. But Payson. How do you feel about the match? Uh, I'm feeling great. Uh, I think this is a very uh, unique max match, especially for round two. Um, Matt has made it to the finals of one of these tournaments. I think everyone remembers the 2020 season where Matt was just on fire. And speaking of people being on fire, Dylan has been playing lights out this year. I know how hungry he is to show the world how good he is. So I think this is going to be a very, very fun match. Yep. Uh, Matt. Kind of a old hat in this league, been around, and Dylan making his early case for comeback player of the year. But let's go ahead and bring Matt in first, since uh, he wanted to come in first because it was uh, his choice. But Matt, how you doing? Doing good, doing good. Feels good. I think this is what round eight of the tournaments. Uh, I miss those uh, round one matches. Uh, they, they, they they have gotten progressively harder the further we've gone into the tournament. But uh, this should be a really fun match. Uh, Dylan is a great player. I don't think I've played him one-on-one -on -one before. So, yeah, this should be really interesting. Uh, unfortunately, uh, my managers could not make it here tonight, but that's okay. Uh, by our shit, I'll go ahead and say that. So I think that covers all the bases. Let's we'll see what happens. Very to the point, as always. Let's go ahead and bring out our who you're facing today. Dylan. All of his manager, Scott Harvey. Guys, how are you doing today? Pretty good. Great. Look, uh, as far as the match goes, first things first, respect to our opponent. Uh, Matt is a beast, has been around since very early days of this league and has played at a high level for years now. Um, but, you know, I think this is, uh, you know, a bit of a deceptive seeding again. If Dylan's a 15 seed, but I think everybody knows that right now he's on the best streak that he's had in his career. He won the last one standing. He's got a title shot that he's sitting on, and uh, he's played at a high level all year. Um, and, look, I know this is a different sport from basketball, but a uh, 15 seed has beaten a two in the last three uh, – or in three of the last four tournaments, I believe, if I, uh, if I have my stats correctly. So I think everything's coming up, Dylan. I didn't know we were playing basketball today, but sure. <laughs> Again, no, like I said, it's a different sport, but let that motivate you. That's fair. No, yeah, I'm excited. Matt, Matt's a great competitor, and I've I don't. He said we haven't faced in one on one. I don't think we've faced really in any capacity, so it should be a good time. I think you're right. Well, Scott coming in with the references that probably five people in this community will get. And with that, we'll see you later, Scott. <laughs> and uh, he's gonna make the old switcheroo here and. We're just going to get started round number one. It's going to work like this. You guys are going to get eight questions from eight general movie categories. You have 15 seconds to you have 15 seconds to write the answer down on your whiteboard. And at the time, you will show and verbalize your answer. You'll get one point for each correct answer. And if you get all eight correct, you, you get a bonus question for, you guessed it, one point. And uh, you guys get uh, three repeats and a challenge used throughout the match. Uh, usually, nobody has any questions. But anybody have any bad jokes to start us out with? I just want to say that Payson's screen is just like it's so crisp and nice. It's new camera. Like can touch into it. <laughs> well, that wasn't what I asked for. So we're just gonna get started around of our first question in the category of drama. The Ten Commandments primarily takes place in what country? Mark, I have a question for you. Uh, if you could add one commandment, what would it be? Oh, man. Uh, it seems a lot of sticky territory. I'm just going to decline to answer that. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Uh, let's start with Matt. Egypt? And Dylan. I might have screwed this up badly. It said Israel. Uh, Egypt is the correct answer. Matt striking first blood. Basin. Uh Yes, we'll be moving on to your second question in the category of the 1980s. Who starred in the films Brubaker and Legal Eagles? And that that second movie is a is a combination of two movie melee teams. 
yeah, sounds like, you know, those horrible lawyers that, you know, just have bad daytime commercials. This doesn't sound uh, sound awesome. Five, four, three, two, Repeat the question. One. And you beat me. Your question again. Who starred in the films Brubaker and Legal Eagles? Uh, you started counting down, so I didn't want to talk over you, but do you think Scott Harvey has any commercials? I really hope so, and it, he better have just. A, Could you imagine like a Saul Goodman s commercial for Scott Harvey? I I can, and I really hope he just has some awful name. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, like the Law of Badger or something. Uh, pens down. Uh, let's go to Dylan. I said Rodney Dangerfield. And Matt. Rubber Redford. <laughs> Robert Redford is correct. Moving on to your next question. In the category of action adventure, what is the first name of Gerard Butler's character in 300? I like you say Gerard. You say Gerard. Hmm. I think it's just kind of how I unconsciously say it. You know, just people, how you pronounce their names and such. I always forget. Do you see colors and rods or cones? I want to say cones. Oh boy. Uh, five, four, three, two. One. I don't know how to answer that question. Uh, what pens down? Uh, let's go to Matt. Leonidas. And Dylan. Leonidas. Yeah, both are correct. Yeah. Uh, we will be moving on to your fourth question the category of Oscars. Who won Best Director for films released in both the 70s and the 80s? Now, I, uh, I read the question as uh, it was written, but I would like to, uh, I'm, we are going to assume that this is the 1970s and the 1980s. It's a fair assumption. I think, you know, we, we, made the, we made that joke before. Five, four, three, two, one, pens down. Let's go ahead and start, uh, I lost, uh, Dylan. I went with the very unfortunate guess of Woody Allen. Well, uh, Matt. I didn't have anything. Milos Foreman cool. was the correct answer. <laughs> For the films of uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and Amadeus. Some of the best of all time. Uh, you knew that because they were not written down. <laughs> Moving on to your category in animated. What animated film features a villain who is a former 80s child star named Balthazar Bratt? I really want to say something about this question, um, but I'm not going to. I will save it for the next question because it kind of spoils it. That's fair. That's just a great name. I mean, I, oh, I awesome. wish, wish to say it again, but I don't know if that counts as a repeat or not. Uh, five, four. We'll mark it your lucky day repeat. Two. Okay. That, that is Matt's first repeat. Your question again. What animated film features a villain who is a former 80s child star named Balthazar Bratt? You, you just said it again. You're right. It, 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 it really is an awesome name. You know, that, it's got the old, uh, you know, that two, two uh, first name, that Stan Lee thing going for it. You know, very interesting. Five, four, three, two, and one. Pens down. That's a... Uh, Let's go over to Matt. See that repeat helped you. Incredibles two, and Dylan. I blanked hard. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Uh, both are incorrect. Uh, we are looking for Despicable Me three. Uh, your sixth question will become new in the category of crime. City of God takes place in what city? But yeah, what I was going to say, the only reason I knew that question was I just remember the Despicable Me 3 trailer playing before every single movie. It got that villain with his big, like, round ass, like, in the purple suit, and it's saying, this is Balthazar Brett! Every it's, very, it's a very annoying trailer to come up. Four, three, two, and one. Pens down. Uh, we're going to start with uh, Dylan. Uh, Rio de Janeiro. And Matt. Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro, or we would have just left it Rio, uh, apparently, uh, both are correct. Hmm. And uh, moving on to your penultimate question, category scores and soundtracks. What was the first film to be composed by Michael Giacchino? Is, is Michael Giacchino Italian? 
I mean, it'd be weird if he isn't. If, uh, yeah. it's not. Would you like to count? That? Would you like to do the countdown in Italian? It's very fun to do. Uh, I, I, no, a five, oh. <laughs> a five, a three, a two, <laughs> a one. Pens down. <laughs> Ugh, I didn't like that at all. Uh, the code of Matt. Nothing. Uh, Dylan. I just said the Incredibles. The Incredibles That's is true. correct. Uh, Dylan cutting into that lead. And there will be no perfect rounds. This will be your final question, round number one. Your final question will come to you in the category of comedy. Who plays businesswoman Heather Mooney in Romy and Michelle's high school reunion? I just realized if if I'm having a 10-year high school reunion, that is three years away. You still got yours to go to, man. Fair. <laughs> Five, four, three, going on 20, uh, 15, or uh, two, one, pens down. Let's uh, go to uh, Dylan. So I screwed up the H real badly. I just guessed Amy Poehler. <laughs> it's supposed to be a lowercase H. Uh, and Matt. I spelled this horribly, Janine Garofalo. Janine Garofalo is the correct. And can we see that? Can we see that answer one more time? Yeah, that's it's very spelled horribly. <laughs> Mark, uh, that's a Garofalo. Garofalo. Bring Scott in. Uh, 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 here's uh, okay. Here's like, say. Mark, here's a whole you rule it as correct. I think we have to say it is yeah. correct right now, and then Dylan and Scott can talk. All right. We're going to challenge. Yeah. There's a whole syllable missing. Okay. Yeah, we'll challenge. Be right back after this challenge. Is that a challenge? All right. We are back after this challenge. Um, uh, we discussed it, and uh, we have decided to uh, not award Matt the point since uh, he was uh, missing a crucial part of the person's name. And uh, with that, um, Dylan will withhold will keep his challenge keep his challenge but with that ends round number one matt at four points dylan at three is that what you have pacing uh that is exactly what i have great and uh, with that we will be moving on to round number two which is our wheel round <clears throat> in which our competitors will get a chance to spin our wheel and uh they like what they 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 like what they spin on the first time they can keep it if not they can spin again and uh but they got to keep uh, whatever they land on the second time. They're going to get five questions from uh, whatever category they land on. And uh, they'll be worth two points apiece. If not, you can check down a multiple choice for one point apiece. And uh, as you all know, there is stealing here. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Your categories today are Timothy Oliphant, 1990s, chosen by Matt. Neon and directors chosen by Dylan, as long as war, coming of age, slash teen classics in 2000s, as well as spinners and opponents' choice. Uh, Matt, you are ahead. Would you like to spin first or defer? Like, well, um, I'll go ahead and defer. All righty. And we'll bring in Scott and Dylan. This will be your first spin. <clears throat> Those are tough questions, Dylan. Cool. All right. And do you Hopefully land on your string we'll neon? Yeah. Keep it just. We'll take it. Yeah. That's what we figured. And uh, we will bring it out of the wheel. Goodbye, Scott. Payson, would you like to read these neon questions? Absolutely, Dylan. Your first question in the category of neon. Who directed The Bad Batch? Anna Lily Amirpour. That is correct for two yes. points. Your second question. Who plays the titular character's adopted father in Loose? Tim Roth. That is correct for two points. Your third question in the category of Neon. In Ingrid Goes West... What comic book character does Dan, played by O'Shea Jackson Jr., spend the film writing a screenplay about? Batman. That is correct for two points. Your third question. Your fourth question in the category of Neon. 
what is revealed to the public after the mayor of Salem's devices are hacked in Assassination Nation? Just to be Five, safe, I'll go to multiple choice. Four. Your multiple choice options. Is it A, transaction records detailing illegal purchases? B, photos of the mayor cross-dressing? C, messages between the mayor and his mistresses? Or D, blackmail on his potential rivals? Okay, I'm glad I did that. I believe it's B, as in boy. That is correct for one point. Fuck that movie. <laughs> I've heard bad things. Yeah. And your final question in the category of neon. What state does pig primarily take place in? Multiple Five. choice. Four. Your multiple choice options. Is it A, California, B, Idaho? C, Washington, or D, Oregon? D. D, Oregon is correct for one point. Well, with that, Dylan getting a score up to 11, uh, getting a clean sweep of the category mm -hmm. with uh, Matt sticking to four. Is that what you have, Payson? Uh, that is what I have. All righty, with that, we'll bring back up the wheel, and this will be Matt's spin. And you will land on the category of war. Would you like to keep that or spin again? Uh, let's spin again. Alrighty, tempting fate. Matt, you will have to keep what you land on this time. And it is just on the edge of you will receive <laughs> classics. Yep. So uh, we'll take you off the wheel. And... Since Payson read the first batch question, I will read these batch questions. Are you prepared for your question? Is it in classics? Yes, Matt. if you're prepared to do a lot of multiple choice. <laughs> I do. It needs to be done. Your first question. What is the first and last name of Humphrey Bogart's character in the Maltese Falcon? Multiple choice just to be safe. All right, your multiple choice options are A, Sam Spade, B, Kelly Ferguson, C, Philip Marlowe, or D, Harry March? A. A, Sam Spade is correct for one point. Your next question. What kind of business does the titular character run in Mildred Pierce? Multiple choice. All right, your multiple choice options are A, a bar, B, a casino, C, a hotel, or D, a restaurant. Hotel. That is incorrect. Going over to Dylan for the one point steal. Is it A, a bar, B, a casino, C, a hotel, or D, a restaurant? Say a casino. As also incorrect, uh, we were looking for D, a restaurant. Uh, all right, go ahead, Matt. Your next question. Who plays Brigadier General Big X in The Great Escape? Steve McQueen? That is Incorrect. Going over to Dylan for the two-point steal. Richard Attenborough? That is correct for the big two-point steal. And going over to Matt, your uh, penultimate question in classics. 1938's Jezebel takes place in what U.S. city? Multiple choice. Your multiple choice options are A, Las Vegas, B, Houston, 
C, New Orleans, or D, Washington, D.C.? Say New Orleans. New Orleans is correct for one point. And Matt, this is your final question in classics. Celeste Holm, George Sanders, and Thelma Ritter have supporting roles in what film? Multiple choice. All right, your multiple choice options are A, The Ten Commandments, B, The Grapes of Wrath, C, All About Eve, or D, How the West Was Won. Let's say B. Uh, B, the grapes are after is incorrect. Going with Dylan for the one point steal. Is it A, the Ten Commandments? B, the grapes of wrath? C, all about Eve? Or D, how the West was won? There's a lot of people in it, so I'll say D. D, how the West was won is also incorrect. We're looking for C, all about Eve. Oh. oh. And uh, with that. And round number two, Matt going to score up to six with Dylan and score up to 13. Is that what you have, Payson? Uh, that is exactly what I have. Great. We'll be moving on to round number three, which is our pick your poison round, in which our competitors have been given a list of categories before the match. And uh, they can pick from those categories and, from, and get questions at, uh, at uh, levels of one, two, three, and four points. Categories they can pick from tonight are Brad Pitt. John Carpenter, Joel Cohen, mystery thrillers, romantic comedies, 1990s, directors, and 1970s. Uh, competitors are going to pick uh, their qu pick uh, their categories, and, uh, you know, hopefully we're back to finish this up. All right, we're back. Okay. All right, we're back. And uh, competitors have pick hit. Ah, oh, my God. Our competitors have picked their questions. And uh, we will start uh, for, uh, with Matt since he is behind. And uh, we will go until we are out of questions or one player is mathematically eliminated. Um, Matt, since I gave your questions round number two, Payson, give you your round three questions. Payson. Matt, your one pointer in John Carpenter. Who plays Map to the Stars Eddie in Escape from LA? Steve Buscemi. That is correct for one point. We'll be sticking with Matt for your two-pointer in the category of Brad Pitt. Who plays media mogul Bill Parrish in Meet Joe Black? Anthony Hopkins. That is correct for two points. Over to Matt for his three-pointer in the category of mystery thriller. In what classic thriller will you find the characters of Phyllis Dietrichson, Walter Neff, and Barton Keyes? Oh, goodness. Oh. Five. Repeat the question. That is Matt's second repeat. In what classic thriller will you find the characters of Phyllis Dietrichson, Walter Neff, and Barton Keys? The third man. That is unfortunately incorrect. We were looking for double indemnity. Oh, okay. All right. So here's the situation, folks. Uh, Matt will, uh, has his four-pointer left, and uh, he has to hit it to tie it up with Dylan to uh, force him to answer some questions. Yes, uh, Dylan. Uh, Matt, your four-pointer to tie the game in the category of 90s. What is the name of Joe's dog in You've Got Mail? <laughs> Congratulations, Dylan. Uh, let's see, what's a good dog name? Let's go with Max. We'll keep it simple. Four. And your winner by technical knockout 
Dylan Van Thine. Uh, the correct answer was Brinkley. It was Brinkley. All right. Awesome. Take Dylan out. <laughs> Start with Matt. <laughs> <Post -vaginating. laughs> Shit. Sorry, man. <laughs> but Matt, uh, you know what? I it's almost just kinda... said Brinkley. Is that? Oh. It's Max Brinkley, Max Max. <laughs> you know what? Um, I feel like uh, you know, I I feel like at the least the desk can empathize with the game you had tonight, of where the wheel did not go your way. You uh got some uh not great questions in round three, just something that just we're not quite in your wheelhouse. And uh, you know uh, you play pre you play a pretty good round round one, and then you know it's just kind. of – it's kind of the way things happen for you, and like. But how do you feel about uh, your overall performance today? Oh, I, I feel pretty good. I mean, round one, I thought I did, all, did pretty decent in. Uh, said round two, I mean, the wheel uh, isn't always your friend. So, hey, I've, I've had a pretty good. Uh, the wheel's been pretty good to me lately, so I had to catch up eventually. Uh, Dylan played great. Uh, I know he's been on a tear lately, so I think he's going to do great things in the rest of this tournament. He's definitely one to uh, look out for. I, I think. It'd be nice if uh, he goes on to win the tournament, so that that'll make me feel a little bit better. So, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it's, it's fun. It's always fun. So that's what that's what matters. All right. Uh, this does unfortunately end your run here in uh, the tournament. Uh, you will not advance to round number nine, as you have said earlier. Um, but um, is there anybody that uh, you'd want to uh, scare with your presence? You know, next go around. You know, whenever <laughs> we do uh, get you to come out here play next time. Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I'm, I'm sure there, there's still plenty of people I haven't played yet, and uh, I'm sure there's still a couple people that probably want a, uh, another crack at me, so we'll see what happens. Well, somebody on the desk who uh, wants that as well. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, say goodbye to you for now, Matt, and we'll bring in our winner, Dylan Vanta, and your manager, Scott Harvey. Guys, um, you, uh, you kept with it round number one. You took care of business round number two of your strength, and you're you're able to uh, you're able you're able to hold tight in what's usually uh, Matt's a uh, really strong part of his game round number three. But you got to be feeling good, so let's hear it. Oh yeah, I feel very good. Uh, obviously, round one was terrible. Like that was easily the worst round one I've had all season. Uh, but yeah, I mean that it was best possible scenario i think for round two like we were talking about either giving matt uh either classics or neon on opponent's choice and i got neon and he got classics so really just kind of <laughs> luck really paid off there which uh i kind of felt like after the last season i had it was it was good to have luck kind of luck kind of going in my way now this year it's cool but yeah yeah i mean for most players, a spinner's opponent's game, and what and this was effectively a spinner's opponent's game, um, would be a death sentence. It's not for somebody like Matt because he just knows movies. Um, you know, he definitely picked up some points there. The questions just didn't go his way, but uh, you know, I he he knows movies, so he very easily could have had um, a good a great round there. And Dylan obviously still needed to hit his strength. So yeah. Props to you, Dylan, for, for taking care of business. Um, you know, you still got to do that even when good fortune is on our side. And uh, round three, this is exciting. Yes, it is. And uh, you will be moving on to the next round. Uh, Payson, I believe you're better at this than I do. Can, can we? Are we saying who he's playing next? Uh, I believe we can. Uh, the rankings have all been released. Um, the round, uh, round one has obviously happened. Yes, we can say it. Uh, Dylan, you will be playing the winner of either Matthew Chen or Will Cohen. Uh, between those two, who would you like to play? Well, Will's a solid competitor. Uh, no disrespect to him, but uh, I really want to play uh, Matthew after the match we had in teams. I think like that was uh, that was very down to the wire, and it was one honestly one of my favorite matches that I've ever competed in because it was just so much fun. And I think we showed just how evenly matched we were in that match, just going tit for tat, basically. So I think facing him in singles would be a lot of fun. And if we play Will, we'll get revenge for Kirk. So um, it's a win-win. Yeah, for sure. All righty. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for uh, showing up your day. And uh, really good game. And uh, good luck the rest of the way. All right, bye and bye. Payson. I mean, you know, it feels like, you know, it feels like, you know, the theme of uh, 
this turn uh, this tournament feels to be you know chaos you know just the unexpected just kind of keeps happening and um same here i feel like you know i may we maybe could have guessed you know dylan could take down matt i don't think either of us would have guessed it, it would have been by tko but this is certainly a good match i would put go ahead and put a bow on this one Payson. Yeah, I think you took the words out of my mouth. I know how much Dylan cares about this game, but even with that, a TKO, a TKO is just insane, especially with someone like Matt, who is like one of the scariest people to play in ra- in a round three format. Um, but yeah, Dylan just, he, he knows his strengths, props to him. Um, I'm someone who's always like struggled with struggle with strength level stuff, but he obviously knows what he's doing. So yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to see where Dylan goes in this tournament. Yeah, same here. This will this will end uh, tonight's installment of Multiplex Movie Melee. And uh, thank you, competitors. Matt, uh, Matt Quaylar, uh, Dylan Vantine, well as a manager, uh, Scott Harvey. And uh, thanks, everybody here at Multiplex, giving this uh, old train on the tracks. I am uh, Mark Machaca, Space and Johnson. Say goodbye, everybody. Be well. Goodbye. <laughs> Fun storm in the castle. Think it'll work? Goodbye.